Hey guys, this is Katie and Colin for CardsChat.com and today we're gonna to be looking at Shove or Fold Poker. Three key all-in spots. We're gonna look at these spots one by one and then we're gonna give examples of just what the ranges look like for these Shove Fold spots. And the first one is a classic. If you have 15 blinds or less, you should just move all in, assuming there's an ante, because there's so much money in the middle, usually two and a half blinds or more, that that incentivizes you to take the pot down right away. Yeah, that's definitely an important one. And also an important one is shove or fold spot two. So this is gonna be when you have 20 blinds or less and someone has already raised. So there's going to be a lot in the center at that point. So with 20 blinds or less, we're just gonna be going ahead and shoving or folding. Definitely, and even if there's not an ante, you can apply this one. With an ante, if you have 25 blinds, it's not even that crazy to just shove. So this is power poker moving all in, looking to take it all down right there. And the last spot is if someone has shoved for a third or more of your stack. So let's say that the blinds are 500, 1,000, someone has shoved in for 5,000 ships. If you have 15,000 ships or less, just go ahead and move all in if you're going to play the hand because that shove amount represents so much of your stack. That's a very good point, very true. And now we're gonna check out some examples of this, right? Yes, we are. So now we're gonna look at the specific ranges for these points. So the first one is that if we have 15 blinds or less, which is effective stack. So in this instance, using the program ICMizer, we put in that everyone has exactly 15 blinds, but let's say we have 15 blinds and these guys cover us, or we have a very big stack and the remaining opponents have 15 blinds and this will apply. And we can kick, click to look at the ranges and see exactly what we should shove for this 15 blind effective stack on the button. And not surprisingly, that's gonna be a fairly wide range of about any ace, any pocket pair, and a lot of suited connectors. We wanna make sure we don't exclude hands that are actually really good to shove here, such as 6-5 suited. Yeah, those hands have a lot of playability. They're very live against a calling range. And let's see how this changes when we get to the second point, which is that if someone has put in a raise, you can jam for 20 blinds or less, even if there's not an ante. So to do that, we're just gonna make a simple modification, which is we'll have this player who's one to our right min raise. And the question here is, what can we shove? So let's take a look at that now. And so this is not surprisingly going to be a bit of a tighter range, right? Makes sense because we are now shoving over previous action. And so we're going to have to tighten up a bit. It's still going to include most aces, almost any suited ace, but not quite there to be honest in practice. I wouldn't beat myself up too much if I shoved the ace too suited there and any pocket pair and a lot of Broadway hands and that nine ten suited holding down the suited connector wagon. Yes, wagon, I like that excellent <laughs> down choice there. And let's now look at the final category. So what we can do now is we have to modify the cutoff stack if we're gonna leave him as our opponent. So now we're gonna have it so that he's gonna move all in for a third of our stack. And like we said, now this is a shove or fold spot for us because so much is in the middle. So let's take a look now at what we would jam over the top of him. And the program calculates. So this is going to be uh, any suited ace this time, so we've moved yes, up. Yes. Congrats to the ace two suited <laughs> that has made the cut. Uh, we are going to fold the low off suit ace, and we are surprisingly to me going to be sh uh, folding deuces. I probably would not have expected that. And then we also are going to be folding the 10 9 suited uh, in contrast to the last hand, but we are going to be going with jack 10 suited, king 10 off, so a tighter range here as well. Yeah, absolutely. So this has been a nice little glance, we hope, into Shirt Stack Power Poker. And this has been Colin Moshman and Katie Dozier for CardsChat.com.